Dan. We are the directors and also producers of Cigarettes and Chocolate by Anthony Miguelo at The Fringe 2011 by Reds. The play is about uh, silence and communication. Uh, it all centres around a character called Gemma who uh, stops talking and no one knows why. And it's about how these characters try to work out why she's suddenly taken on this act of silence. It's definitely the sort of piece where the actors can really get into a character because most of them have some pretty hefty monologues. It's an interesting piece because it uses dialogue, monologue, and we've also decided to put um, stylized movement and stuff in there so that the messages and the themes really come across in the most engaging way possible. Yeah, it's a really rich text and I think uh, you get a lot of very interesting characters in it, uh, which you love and you hate at the same time, and I think that's what's great about the play. Um, I'm Louisa Harris, um, and I play Gemma. Gemma is, as I describe her, uh, a wannabe hippie. Sort of a free spirit. Um, because she's all about saving the world and the people, but really, She's not so much doing it out of careness or consideration for them. It's more a let's cause a, set, a stir and see what people think of me. Ambiguous. Enthusiastic, annoying hippie. She's an activist. And she's also a little bit selfish. My name's Matt Irwin. I'm playing Rob, uh, the boyfriend of Gemma in Cigarettes and Chocolate. Uh, Rob is an interesting character. He's... At face value, not the most pleasant of person, and if you dig a little bit deeper, then you find he's a complete dickhead. Uh, he's, he's one of those characters that we've, through developing in, in rehearsals, that we've decided that he's, he's not a nice guy on the surface. He's like a real hard egg kind of thing, but there's, a, there's always hints that he's actually a really nice guy. So, yeah, playing against type, hopefully. Three words. Mm. Ooh, that's difficult. Okay, aggressive, mm. charming. Okay, dickhead. Uh, inconsiderate. Loquacious. Dick. Dick. My name is Will Gillum. I am playing Alistair in Cigarettes and Chocolate. And the way I describe Alistair, he's... He's a very thoughtful, sensitive kind of character. He's not like... The big manly kind of guy that he probably wants to be, but you know he's too sensitive. He he's in love with this girl that isn't ever going to return his feelings, and he's just a hopeless romantic, really. And I feel sorry for the guy, really. Such a and Will plays him so beautifully. He, he's a he's a nervous guy who's um he's always jittery and you know he just he wants to be a casanova at heart and, and be a real romantic but he just isn't vulnerable i'll probably say um sensitive and old-fashioned adorable and sweet um my name is jada my character name is lorna and Lorna is a very troubled young woman. I love Jada's character. Yeah, she's great. Lorna is, and for the first couple of readings of that play, you just read it and you just go, what a bitch. <laughs> she is sleeping with Rob, who is Gemma's boyfriend. Gemma's her best friend, so, yeah. And um, I think sort of, I would like to say the reason why Lorna is doing this is because and the reason why she's gone for the best friend's boyfriend is maybe on some level she's um she's a very sort of self-destructive person and um she's she's had to like endure a really rough childhood with her mother who's attempted suicide many times she does a monologue you learn what she's actually been through in her life and you sort of think let her she's done so she's been through so many horrible things she's someone that has had such a horrible horrible life you sort of think do whatever makes you happy, love. That's how I feel about her. Mm -hmm. And it puts... That Lorna's monologue makes me feel very differently about Gemma's character. Troubled. Um, deceptive. Um, and... 
destructive. Bitchy, but okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Susie Pincock and I play Gail. Um, Gail is one of Gemma's really good friends. Um, she's currently pregnant with, well, recently pregnant. She's 18 weeks, I think it's said in the script. Um, yeah, she's 18 weeks pregnant with Sample's child. Although in the um, play you don't really see much of Sample and Gail together at all. I don't think he referenced her at all. But um, you have the feeling that they're, you know, they're happy together and yeah, she's got a baby on the way. She's quite, she's gossipy but she isn't um, nosy. She likes to, be, you know, she likes to sort of know what's going on and be quite friendly. She's very friendly to everyone. She doesn't really ever say anything that's particularly insulting. She never slags anyone off at all. She's, she's quite a likeable character. Yeah, Mumsy, Jolly and Karen. In three words, it is Susie. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm Jack, Jack Thompson, and uh, my character is Sample, uh, which is a, a strange name, because I'm just a generic, generic person in the play. Sample. We imagine Sample to be like a geography teacher or an accountant. Uh, very grey, very boring, walked over by everyone, which is, which, which is seen during my, my scene with uh, Rob. Shy, controlled, um, quite nervous and twitchy at times. Grey, dull, flip floppy. Sweet, thoughtful, and. Kissals? Ali. Okay, I'm Helen Baxendale. I'm playing Conception. Other characters pronounce it Concepcion because I'm from Argentina. Concepcion. Or conception. Still don't know. With the play, I'm rather secluded because I'm not um, not a part of why Gemma's not talking. I'm Alistair's housemaid. Um, I'm known well for ironing shirts and cleaning. That's about it, really. Um, she's a nice character as well because it is a play about people that either talk a lot or say barely anything. Gemma's chosen to say nothing. Rob chooses to speak a lot. But Conception is one of those characters where, to be honest, she doesn't really have, she doesn't say much because of what is there to say. And she's a psychiatrist and that's what psychiatrists do, they are fairly silent and they listen. I'd probably be isolated, quite clever, and a bit of a tease. Just doesn't care.